Hi, guys. While well, modern medicine marking an incredible milestone this week, Louise Brown was the world's first IVF baby. She is celebrating her 40th birthday, which means it has been 40 years since the first successful in vitro fertilization. We are joined by Louise Brown this morning, as well as Dr. Angie Beltzos, a fertility expert right here in Chicago. Good morning. Nice to have Good the both morning. of you here. Yeah, it's lovely to be here. <laughs> I, Louise, I guess I'll start with you. Let's share with everybody your story. So it was 40 years ago, and your parents had tried to have a baby for, what, nine years? Nine, ten years, yes. And then what happened after that? Um, Mum actually went to the doctors with depression um, and they found that her um, not being able to conceive was the factor of it. So um, her doctor um, put her in touch with Patrick Steptoe, who um, was the gynaecologist. Um, and it, they, he accepted them onto the program and um, here I am. The rest is history, <laughs> as they say. Now, did you know while growing up how, I mean, significant your birth was? Um, I was four before when I started school. So just before I started school, mum and dad showed me the video of my birth and said I was born a little bit differently to everybody else. Um, and I sort of was happy with that. I understood it was slightly different. And then the rest, um, I l used to listen to mum and dad through interviews um, wow. and just sort of pick the rest up as I was going along. And Angie, let's talk about the impact of IVF. I mean, how far have we come? You know, it's such a young field, but have come so far in 40 years that now uh, we hope the next 40 years will bring us even more progress and the ability to help people have, have families. But imagine um, just the ability um, to have a family has changed because before that, if you had the situation um, that her parents faced, they would be left with only you know, adoption. Right. So it's been amazing. Now, what about the options today? There are a l more options today for couples who are having trouble conceiving. Yeah, you know, it um, includes in vitro and some of those basic elements mm -hmm. that uh, were used to create, uh, let's say, Louise, and um, things that have changed dramatically, like the ability to freeze eggs. Um, to freeze embryos and let them survive. So like patients who might be getting cancer treatment and need to preserve their fertility for later. Um, also, genetic screening um, of embryos has now become a vi you know, in the forefront of, of medical care when you talk about fertility as well. So. And so your biggest advice for couples who are coming in to see you who might have trouble conceiving? The biggest thing is don't give up. Okay. Have the tenacity that Leslie and Brown and, and John Brown had to um, charge forward because we have the ability to help them. So what do you think about so many years later when we're talking about IVF now? Um, Mum would be amazed to see how far it come now. Um, from the very relatively simple procedure Mum had yeah. um, to what they can do today is amazing. Well, as we said, it's been about 40 years. Happy birthday. Thank you. We should let everybody know that some of the country's best fertility specialists are actually in Chicago this week for a symposium. A big thank you to both Dr. Angie Beltos and Louise for being here today. Thank okay. you so thank much. You. Okay, well, we're back right after this. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.